Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Simulation Pyrotechnics. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy my content today, please do consider liking and subscribing because it really helps me out. That said, we'll get straight into this. So, thanks to the guys once again over at JTAC Customs. They've sent me these uh, Thomas Low Defense diversionary devices to unbox and show you guys, um, as well as something we're gonna discuss in a minute. We'll come back to. So first of all, I've got the GTR60. So this is, ooh, look at that, um, a simulator training device for military and personal use obviously i know a lot of airsoft mill simmers like this sort of thing jtac customs are selling these um so this is a three bang uh, bottom and radial multiported training grenade um it's actually relatively lightweight uh, and as it says there it can take in three shells so you can get three bangs in there that can all go off simultaneously or can be time delayed against it off against each other uh, and obviously you get uh, the realistic ring pull system where you twist to unlock it, pull, let go, and the hammer fires and the grenades go, uh, the uh, charges go off and you get bangs. Um, that is absolutely brilliant. I know a lot of people are big into milsim and things. This is the kind of thing that they're going to be looking for and wanting to use and get into using. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, I really like these. Uh, having seen them being used at airsoft events, I can tell you they definitely give you a realistic feel. Um, the one thing issue that seems to be with them is people always seem to lose their spoons off them, which is where this little booty kit comes in. Now this is compatible with this one as well, which we'll go into in a second. Um, so what happens with this? I'll just unwind the top. Um, this is where you put your primer in, in the top, and your chargers go in there and are fired and used um, to reset it, which is fully resettable. It's not an easy one. It's not a good thing, kind of thing you're gonna be doing uh, quickly and easily in a firefight. So you take the bottom of the spoon, you push that up. In fact, this is easier if this is attached to here. Try again. So spoon goes in, so it hooks underneath there round like that, use your thumb to pull that back, hook that in and pull the spoon down and there you go, you just use your pin again, so please don't throw this away, it is the reuse part of the reusable system, so that just goes across through there, comes out the other side. The uh, spring on the hammer is uh, quite uh, quite a strong spring. A little bit fiddle it. Can tell I've not uh, practiced. That's why it's coming out the side. And there we go. After much faffing, there it is. There it is, come through. So what happens is then, that goes underneath. So you can't just accidentally pull the pin and the ring itself will click over that. So it's locked down, so it's not gonna be accidentally pulled. That's quite a clever design feature. So to pull it, Pop the ring off, twist it, that unlocks it, go backwards so this comes clear and then pull and let go and that will ping off with that. Now, as I was saying, this retention system from JTAC is very, very simple and clever. So you get this reinforced rubber band which goes over the top like that. Simply like that. Then what happens is the rubber band comes over the top here 
sits on top of the spoon like that and you have a screw and a washer and a bolt to go on the top so just remove that uh, this is an allen key bolt uh, screw and you've got a metal washer with another uh, rubber washer on top so the rubber washer makes it really difficult to get that off so what happens is you put the screw up through the bottom in through the, re the rubber strap you then push down and you've really got to work that down there push down onto there rubber side up and then you screw the cap down you will need um, probably an allen key and a spanner or an allen key and some pliers to tighten that down but then when that pings off it stays attached to your grenade and that is quite hard wearing tough rubber so it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon it's such a simple little system one of those ones where i looked at it and went why didn't i think of that um, genuinely brilliant and well thought out from jtac guys so that was the uh, gtr 60 absolutely gorgeous and then in this little package here we've got the gtr 25 the ball grenade now this is only a single charge which if i unscrew this charge goes in there now this feels much weightier than the uh, the 60 so unscrew the top the prime goes in there and it's the exact same hammer system and the retention system, the JTAC retention system for your spoon is exactly the same and will work for this system just the same as it works for the GTR 60 as well. So you know that you can keep throwing that all day long, resetting it and you're not gonna lose it. All you need to make sure you do is keep hold of your ring. Now I've got a Dynatex, uh, old school Dynatex BFG and the number of times I've thrown the ring pull and had to go scrabbling around in the mud, uh, it, heat of the battle you know you can forget sometimes so just make sure if you do get these and they are brilliant they're well worth the money for the reusable nature of them and the realistic looking authenticity of it well worth the money uh, the retention system for the spoon again uh, less than 10 pounds i believe well worth the money uh, just to keep hold of that spoon meaning you don't have to buy a new one every 10 seconds because you've uh, cobbed it away uh, mid firefight uh, and not not kept a track of where it went um so i hope you've enjoyed that um i will be looking forward to these to get uh, load will be looking forward to getting to use these at some point in the near future uh, they are nifty little devices if you have enjoyed my content please do like and subscribe it helps me out see you next time bye